In the setting of tetralogy with pulmonary atresia, therefore, the role of the pediatric cardiologist is to establish that proportion of the pulmonary parenchyma fed exclusively by a systemic to pulmonary collateral arteries as opposed to that fed by the intrapericardial pulmonary arteries. Then, the pediatric cardiologist also needs to establish the number of systemic to pulmonary collateral arteries and where they anastomose with the intrapericardial pulmonary arteries. There is, however, one further complication, and that is the fact that in some instances there may be dual supply to one given segment through systemic to pulmonary collateralism themselves as opposed to intrapericardial pulmonary arteries.